In this video, we want to find the 4th degree Maclaurin series of ln of 1 plus sine of x. First, we're going to do it the long way by taking the derivatives. So let's start off with our function to be ln of 1 plus sine x. The derivative is just 1 over the inside multiplied by the derivative of the inside. So that's 1 over 1 plus sine x times cosine x. Now the second derivative is going to be uh, take, taking the first derivative and then applying the quotient rule. So we take the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine, times the bottom, minus, uh, take the derivative of the bottom, which is cosine, times the top, over the bottom squared, simplify, and then once we simplify by distributing the negative sine, we know that sine squared plus cosine squared is one. That means negative sine squared minus cosine squared is negative one. And so now I can factor out a negative and then the degree um, is gonna cancel, or the one plus sine x is gonna cancel with the bottom. So we're gonna just gonna have negative one over one plus sine x. Now we can take the derivative of this, so we'll apply the quotient rule. The derivative of one is zero times the bottom minus the derivative of the bottom, or I, yeah, this is the derivative of the bottom is cosine times the top. So this is uh, the top here, negative one. And then over the bottom squared, simplify, we get cosine over one plus sine of x quantity squared. We want the fourth degree, so we're gonna take the derivative one more time, apply the quotient rule, simplify, and get uh, this is, as our fourth derivative. Now we're interested at x equals zero. So we have these as our derivatives. We're gonna plug in zero, so f of zero is zero. f prime of zero, that's just one. So every, anywhere you see sine, it becomes zero. Anywhere you see cosine, it's one. So uh, the first one is one. The second derivative is negative one. Third derivative is one. Fourth derivative is negative one. So as you can see, this is alternating. Now recall this is the formula for the Maclaurin series. And so we want to use these as the coefficients. And so listing out the first four, we see we have, well first actually f of zero is zero, so that one we, we won't include. So we'll, we're really gonna start this at n equals one because n equals zero is zero. And so we have x minus x squared over two plus x cubed over six minus x to the fourth over 12. Now we're going to be looking at it using uh, these two facts. So using the fact that ln of 1 plus x is x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3 minus x to the 4th over 4. I'm purposely stopping it at the 4th degree because we want to have a 4th degree answer. And so here uh, we'll stop it at x to the 5th. But obviously we don't want to include x to the 5th. So if I'm... If I'm looking at ln of 1 plus sine of x, I'm going to take this equation. I'm just going to substitute x equals sine of x. And now I'm going to make another substitution. I'm going to replace sine of x with x minus x cubed over 3 factorial. So I'm making two substitutions. The first substitution and then the second substitution. And again, I'm going to stop it. I'm not going to include x to the fifth because we want a fourth degree. Okay, now I'm going to expand the inside. Actually, yeah, so I guess this one I should have said um, 3 factorial 6. But anyway, so uh, here I just expanded each one of these terms. And so as you can see, they get larger and larger. You just keep adding a, an extra term as you go on. Um, the nice thing is I don't really care about anything beyond x to the fourth, so really I can cancel all of this stuff. So again, we're going to ignore anything that's greater than x to the fourth power. So we'll just go, we have x minus x cubed over six minus x squared over two plus x cubed over three minus x to the fourth over four. So we can simplify the x cubes and then we can also simplify the x to the fourths. 
But doing that, we get x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 6 minus x to the fourth over 12. And that is our final answer.